It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to Weekend Update, everybody. I'm Michael Che. And I'm Colin Jost. Well, it's almost the one-year anniversary of Donald Trump getting elected president. And to celebrate, Robert Mueller threw him a surprise party. <laughs> After the indictment of former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort, who also played Shooter McGavin in Happy Gilmore, <laughs> it was reported that Manafort has three different U.S. passports and traveled to Mexico, China, and Ecuador with a phone he registered using an alias. So I don't know what he's guilty of, but it's definitely not nothing. <laughs> no one has three passports, a burner phone, and good intentions, except maybe Santa Claus. <laughs> President Trump lashed out on Twitter about the indictments from the Russia probe and the unfair news coverage, probably. And I'm sure he brought up crooked Hillary again. Look, I gotta be honest, I can't read any more of this guy's tweets. I'm tired of watching the President of the United States have an emotional breakdown on social media like he's Tyrese. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Look, if you want to live tweet Morning Joe or Cupcake Wars or whatever else you watch, fine. But indictments are important and you work for us. So go put on your baggy suit, fold your hair nice, and answer all of our questions face to face like the public servant that you are. Okay? I mean, what are you doing on Twitter? We shouldn't have to wonder if our president is communicating with us from his toilet. In response to the terrorist attack this week in Manhattan, President Trump has promised to end the diversity immigrant visa lottery, which, by the way, was named in order to make Fox News viewers' heads explode. <laughs> Obviously, this attack was awful, but I'm not sure we should get rid of an entire immigration program based on the actions of one deranged individual. I mean, we don't look at Trump and say, we should get rid of all presidents. <laughs> Republicans, Republicans also... Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Republicans also released their tax plan this week, which explains why Paul Ryan's been rock hard since Thursday. <laughs> Ryan said that under the new tax plan, a family of four would save over $1,000, while this family would save like a billion. Paul Ryan said the new tax plan would make filing taxes so simple that people can do their taxes on a postcard. I don't want simple taxes because it probably means I'll have to pay exactly what I owe. <laughs> I want complicated as hell taxes on a bunch of papers with a bunch of questions so I can lie. <laughs> when somebody tells you, hey, I got a great tax guy, they don't mean he's gonna make taxes simple for you. They mean you're about to claim your fleshlight as a dependent. <laughs> Advisors who are planning President Trump's trip to Asia have warned officials in each country that Trump is not comfortable with new cuisines and prefers familiar foods like well-done steak and ice cream. And they'd also like easier mazes on his placemats. <laughs> now, I don't know, I don't know if this trip is gonna be good for international relations, but it's definitely gonna be great for comedy because we're sending this guy to Asia. Bing, bing, bong, bong, bing, bing, bing. <laughs> I mean, what could go wrong? <laughs> this week, this week saw the first arrest in Robert Mueller's Russia investigation. Here to comment on the situation, our first sons, Eric and Donald Trump Jr. Thank you. Thanks for having us. You're welcome. I was talking to Colin, buddy. We're his guests, right? Yeah. Colin, we'd like to make it very clear that our father did nothing wrong. Some people who barely worked for him did, but dad knew nothing about it. And the same goes for Eric and myself. Yeah, no, well, well I definitely believe you that Eric had no idea what was going on. Exactly, and look, Paul Manafort and Rick Gates, look, we barely knew these guys. And as for the last guy, George... Dr. Octopus. No, buddy, it's, it's not George Dr. Octopus, it's George Papadopoulos. George... Papadopoulos. Papa... Dopoulos. All right. <laughs> anyway, Papadopoulos was a pity hire, Colin. He got coffee. 
He was a glorified intern. He was my boss. <laughs> no, it, no, it, no, it wasn't your boss. Okay, so, so you guys are not worried about this Mueller investigation? Yeah, who Robert Mueller should be investigating, Colin, is Hillary Clinton. As we learned from Donna Brazil, crooked Hillary and company did some shady backroom deals with the Russians. <laughs> and tried to rig the election in her favor. Just like dad. All oh, right. Uh, Eric, uh, you, uh, you want to play with uh, your Halloween candy and eat some of that, bud? Uh, I already had my three pieces today. Oh, it's, a, it's OK. It's a special occasion. Okay. Colin, the bottom line is this. Nobody in my father's inner circle, Eric, 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 what are you doing, buddy? It's fun dip, man. There's sugar in there. Huh? No. Where? You dip the stick in the sugar. This? See? Yeah, there's like a whole thing of sugar in there. You don't just lick the stick, dude. In there? Yeah. Dip it in. All right, look. <laughs> right? <laughs> look. Everything our father has done and our family has done is completely above board. And now we'd like to focus, Colin. It's good, right? Not too much. You're gonna be up really late, buddy. We'd like to focus on important things like brand new deals for the Trump organization and getting a little bro time, like the hunting trip we took last week. I shot a deer! Yeah, you sure did. You wanna show Colin the deer you shot, buddy? Uh -huh. Look at that. Right here. Right in the G, buddy. <laughs> Proud of you. Can you believe this guy is so good with a gun? I cannot. Uh, Eric and Donald Trump Jr., everyone. <laughs>